Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Mark, chapter 12, verses 28 to 34. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher. You are right in saying, He is one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. I must say that this Gospel passage is one of my all-time favorites. The reason why is because Jesus simplifies the crux of Christian living into two very clear instructions. Love the Lord God and love my neighbor as myself. It is very simple to understand, but can be challenging to follow depending on the health of our self-esteem and how we relate to the people around us. Nevertheless, 2 is much less complex than, say, 613. Why the number 613, you may ask? Well, contrary to popular understanding that the 10 were the only commandments God gave Moses is not entirely accurate. In fact, in the first five books of the Bible, or the Torah for our Jewish brothers and sisters, the total number of commandments prescribed were 613. Yes, you heard correctly. 613 ways to be devout, as well as 613 ways to mess up. I don't know about you, but for me, even 10 is a challenge to perfectly adhere to. Imagine if it were still strictly beholden to the 613 commandments that the ancient Israelites were. We'll be spending a very long, long, long time in the confessional. So yes, two is definitely manageable. But here's the thing. These two guidelines are by no means as simple as putting a check mark on the complete box. To truly live as such takes a lifetime to master, perhaps even two lifetimes. It is because by our nature, we carry with us whatever brokenness that fogs up our ability to see how perfectly we are loved by God. It is this obscurity that makes us doubt just how precious we are, and sadly, this is oftentimes projected onto others. So whenever we encounter someone who is nasty to us for no apparent reason, please know that it is because he or she are under the misconception that they are unlovable. And believe me, this is something that I need to remind myself constantly. I don't know where I exactly heard this pretty pithy saying, but it goes something like this. The good news is that God loves you, but the bad news is that God loves everyone else just the same. But the better aware we are of God's radical and unconditional love within us, the easier it will be to love our neighbor despite how difficult they may be. So as we are trying to navigate these very tense and unsettling times, let us first hold true to the fact that no matter what we have done, God's love of us will, will remain unshaken. And through this practice, the second commandment from Jesus, that is, to love our neighbor as ourselves, will follow suit naturally. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and insightful day.